While the White House's plan to help save 13 million families from foreclosure has not been so successful and may have actually made the housing crisis worse. The Federal Reserve predicts that in 2011, U.S. mortgage foreclosures could go up even more. Joining me now is Fox News contributor and real key expert, Bob Massey. Good morning to you, Bob. Good morning, Gretchen. All right. So there seems to be another report that came out this morning that says something different. And I want you to give clarification in case people read this sure. in your newspapers this morning as a headline. It says foreclosures fall to lowest level in 18 months. And yet we just announced that it may be worse than ever. Why this report? Well, because of the fact, you remember a couple of weeks ago, we reported about the robo signer where all the affidavits were basically done in a fraudulent fashion. All the lenders, most of the big lenders, froze the foreclosures. That's the only reason why that report's come out. There's no way that the foreclosures are down. They're only down because they put a stop to it, a moratorium for a period of time. And now they've re all of the ones have basically come back and said we're going to start foreclosures are over again. So it's not an accurate report. So you say it's actually worse now than it was before. And oh, you yeah. say it's because the government's program failed. Failed in what way? <clears throat> Here's the thing, Gretchen. When they when they set up the HAMP program, which is the modification program, the Home Affordable Mortgage Program, that program, the infrastructure, was set up for failure. And the reason I say this honestly is because they really didn't understand the extensiveness of this problem. They didn't understand what paperwork level. You could talk to people that tried to get loan modifications. They will tell you how many times they had to send the same documents over and over again. The fact that things were lost. It was false hope for the American homeowner in this country. So I actually delved in this modification a little bit myself before I started educating people on it, just to see what it was like. And I'll tell you something. I had a guy turned down for a loan modification, I swear to you, for $3.17 a month deficit because after his expenses, he was $3.17 in the negative and they turned down a loan modification. Wow. It was a failed system and continues to fail. All right. So you say ultimately then because of that the taxpayer will pay how well here's the problem how are we going to solve it I mean it's it's a real problem I, I there's only two ways to do it the first way is a way that I don't like and that's the fact that the government and I don't want them involved because they screwed it up already is going to either have to step up and say look we will pay the deficiencies on foreclosures to the lenders we will pay the deficiencies on what we call short sales that we've talked about, where there's a deficiency on what the homeowner owns, owes if, in fact, it's, the house is going to be sold. Right. And we will basically subsidize you, or we have to let this thing just level out, go its course of foreclosures, Gretchen, let everything balance out the next couple years, and start all over. And it's an either or. There's no middle of the ground. Well, both of them don't sound too good, Bob. No, they're not too good. And one thing I want our, our viewers to understand real quick, the reason why lenders cannot principal reduce, and this is important because people will come to me and say, Bob, why is it that they will sell a home to a stranger for present value, but they will not reduce my loan? Yeah. And the reason is, Gretchen, is because they are publicly traded companies. If you and I were shareholders in that company, let's say we're shareholders in Bank of America, and they came up with a protocol and said, we're going to reduce principle, there will be a huge shareholders lawsuit saying, wait a second, our dividends have been changed. You don't have the power to do it. And that's the reason why they will not voluntarily reduce principal to the homeowner. And that is, there's a lot of other legal reasons, but that's the basic reason our viewers have to understand. I don't like it, right. but that's the reality. All right. Well, we always appreciate you telling the truth and educating our viewers. Bob Massey, always great to see you. If I don't Thanks, see Gretchen. you before, Merry Good Christmas. Merry Christmas to all you guys. Thank you. Okay.